Hi, I'm Liz from Caravan Guard Insurance. Before setting off on our motorhome holidays at the start of the season, we should always check our van to make sure it's safe and legal and that we haven't forgotten anything. So in this video, we're going to go through a number of pointers as part of our motorhome pre-departure checks. These are particularly important if your motorhome has been laid up for a while or it's your first trip out. Let's start outside the motorhome underneath the bonnet. Make sure you have plenty of screen wash, coolant and oil in the system. Depending on the manufacturer of the engine will dictate when you should check your oil, either cold or slightly warm, so check your motorhome handbook for details. When checking the oil, make sure the motorhome is on level ground before using the dipstick. Motorhomes will have two batteries, one for cranking the engine into action and then the leisure battery for running all the electrics in the habitation area. We need to check both batteries are in a good state of charge. For the leisure battery, we can use the inbuilt voltmeter in the motorhome or better still, a multimeter on the battery terminals. If the battery shows a voltage of 12.4 volts or lower, it will be in a highly discharged state and if left in this state, it might be damaged. A voltage of 12.7 or above will show a fully charged battery. Also check the condition of the batteries, looking for cracks, bulges or splits and any trace of liquid around the battery case. If the battery is damaged, you should replace it immediately. Checking the tyres should be done each time you set off for a holiday. It's important that your motorhome tyres are in a good roadworthy condition before setting off. Check the outside of the tyre walls and that there's at least 1.6mm of tread, 75% across the tyre's tread pattern. Whilst we're looking at the tyres, let's check the age too. It's recommended that tyres are changed between 5 and 7 years of age and we can find the age by looking for DOT then four numbers on the side of the tyre. In this example the tyre has the code 0617 and that tells us this tyre was manufactured on week 6 of 2017. Finally, check the pressure on all your tyres including the spare and consider fitting a tyre pressure monitor to give you that extra peace of mind that this is being constantly monitored. One of our most common motorhome claims is for windscreen repairs or replacements which can be caused by a small chip which then spreads into a crack. Checking your windscreen for chips means you might prevent it from developing into something a lot worse. Check items such as the electric hookup cable for any splits or damage and that the plugs are in good order. If you find any damage, it's not worth the risk, simply replace with a brand new one. Change the batteries in smoke alarms, TV remotes, torches and if you have them installed, tyre pressure monitoring sensors too. Make sure the gas bottles are full of gas and that the cooker, oven and grill all light with a steady blue flame. If you find a yellow flame, switch off immediately and have your motorhome checked over by either an approved workshop or dealership or mobile engineer. Check the hoses are still in service and not damaged too. Before setting off, make sure the gas is turned off and that the cylinders are securely fastened upright in their locker. With the engine running, switch on all the headlights, side lights, indicators, fog lights and test the brake lights. Check that all the bulbs, marker lights and light clusters are free from damage, have no condensation and are fully working. With the engine off, check the reversing lamp too. Don't forget to check the rear number plate light and the marker lights at the front and sides of the motorhome are also working. Replace any bulbs that are faulty. Clean the fresh water systems of any bacteria by using products such as PuriClean, Dilute the chemical into the fresh water tank, allow the hot water tank to fill and turn on the taps and shower to draw some water with sterilising fluid into the pipes. Leave to sit for 8 to 12 hours before emptying and refilling with clean water. Allowing the pipe cleaner to flow down the sink and shower tray will also clean the waste systems too, but a stronger chemical should be used for the waste tanks. Before setting off, don't forget to pack a hose for filling your onboard water tank or water containers. 
The toilet cassette can be cleaned as well. Sometimes you may find calcification building inside the cassette, but this can be easily removed by using very hot water. Simply fill and allow the hot water to dissolve the buildup. Finish off the clean by adding tank cleaner to freshen up the cassette. Don't forget to spray silicone lubricant on the seal of the cassette too. The biggest task is a good clean of the outside of your motorhome. Start by cleaning the roof, removing as much debris as possible. Clean in and around any solar panel to maximise charge and remove any green or black buildup by using a clean paintbrush. Once the roof is clean, move on to the sides and front of the motorhome. Start from the top and work down the sides. Do not clean the windows with any brushes. Use your hands to minimise scratches from grit. Finish off by applying some wax to make the motorhome shine. And once clean, spray silicone lubricant on window and locker seals. Whilst giving your motorhome a clean, it's a good time to check for damage and to make sure all the seals are intact. See if there are any leaks inside when you've hosed down your motorhome. Also check for any signs of damp inside the motorhome, such as watermarks, mould or a fusty smell, paying particular attention to habitation windows, doors and skylights. Inside the motorhome, remove any items that you've collected over time that are redundant, but are eaten into your payload. Items such as tourist information pamphlets or site maps are easily accumulated. Wipe down the cupboards inside and out and give the entire motorhome a good dusting and wipe down on all work surfaces. Finally, give the carpets, flooring and under seat storage a good vacuum. Your motorhome's manual will tell you your payload, that is the maximum weight of items you can safely carry. If in doubt, individually weigh all the items you've added into the motorhome, plus consider things like solar panels, bike racks, etc. that you've had fitted. Carefully place items in your motorhome to maximise stability. So that's lighter items high up and heavier items low down. Try not to put too much weight beyond the rear axle or in the rear garage as that could affect handling of your motorhome. For more detailed advice, see our video on safe motorhome loading. Check your first aid kit for items that might have lapsed in date and replenish any items that have been used. Things such as medication, insect repellent, antihistamine and sunscreen are also worth checking. Also check that the fire extinguisher and fire blanket are in good order and still in date. And don't forget to check the fire alarm works by giving it a quick test. If you have a tracking device, it's a good idea to take your motorhome for a spin. Pull over in a random location and then give your tracking device company a call to check that they can pinpoint the location of your van as this is proof that the device is working properly. This kind of service is exactly why paying an annual subscription to have your device monitored is worthwhile and they should be more than happy to help. And finally, don't forget to check that any tracking device subscriptions or insurance policies are still active. Check renewal dates for member organisations as well as your tax and MOT. Make sure you get your motorhome booked in each year for a service of both the base vehicle and habitation areas to avoid any complications whilst you're touring. And last of all, before setting off, don't forget to close all windows, doors, hatches and skylights, unplug the hookup cable, empty the wastewater tank and don't forget ramps, chocks and slip mats for levelling. So that's it, we hope you found this video useful. Most of all, have lots of fun and stay safe. Thanks for watching and for more hints and tips, why not head on over to the Caravan Guard website where you can also get a quote for our specialist motorhome insurance cover. And if you've enjoyed this video, why not like and share? Take care.